was the expectation of that result that accounts for the way in which this is good listen to this express their frustrations the recurring attempts of mayweather's handlers to muffle and punish reporters who look too closely at the champion's less than exemplary life outside the ring only serve to heighten that profile less would be written and said about it if they would just leave the process alone and the post-fight whispers from the Pacquiao side about a debilitating shoulder injury and the painkiller shot he was denied by the state commission serve only to unnecessarily taint his great and noble career. If Pacquiao was damaged goods, why did no one tell ticket buyers, pay-per-view subscribers, who were paying record prices for the event? And betters, this is why the NFL mandates weekly injury reports. All in all, the big fight served to underline some of the problems which continue to haunt boxing. So-called Olympic-style drug testing really wasn't Olympic-style drug testing, given that Mayweather had the right to mandate when the testing would begin and end. And why did USADA testing cost more than six times as much as the competing service Vada would have cost? It isn't superior. In fact, if anything, it is less categorical. And while pay-per-view is great for fighters because it maximizes their monetary return, it's a downer for viewers when they don't get the sensational entertainment they expect and at those prices deserve. They didn't. That's predictable. Very few fights in history would have lived up to this kind of hype. Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao has come and gone. There'll be no rematch because audience response to that would be an embarrassment. But despite the naysayers among general media reporters and commentators, boxing won't die. It is more alive on the planet as a whole than ever before. The challenge to American fans is that the next fight of the century might well be between a casa and a Mexican in Las Vegas. Let's see if Paris Hilton shows up for that one. Thanks for being with us on this edition. Was he talking about Chavez versus uh, Golovkin? Because I don't think that's... Anyway, um, I paid $100. Um, I was on somewhat of a uh, media blitz, almost to the point where I felt like I was working for Showtime, HBO, or Mayweather Promotions with all the editing and advertising and alternative promotion that we in Real Combat Media were doing for the fight. So I, I, I asked myself this, me with what I do, I find a reason to enjoy all fights. So even the worst of the worst, worst fights, I find a reason to enjoy. Like, for example, I enjoyed the uh, Leo Santa Cruz versus uh, Jose uh, 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 Cayetano. And that's because, not because I'm pissed off at Leo Santa Cruz like you guys. It's just that, I don't know, I just love boxing. So, I, I, I had to think for a while, how should fans feel the ones that, let's say, if there were some people that had to go through hell to actually get a ticket to the dream fight. Let's say is there's people that lost their jobs or you know sold everything they had to get a ticket to that fight. Let's say if you know that your cable is going to be cut off next month because you're not going to have that extra hundred dollars that you kicked out for this pay-per-view. How should you feel? Should we have known that Manny Pacquiao was injured? Now you got to understand there's other media outlets that are focusing on other issues outside the ones that are report the, the ones that matter. For example, Mayweather or Pacquiao is not talking about issues with gloves. They're not talking about issues with the only issues that are right now being circulated by both parties, meaning the concerns are was he injured or not? Did Pacquiao well put it this way, we already saw the document where Pacquiao signed that he had no injury going into the fight. So now you have to understand that, well, was Pacquiao put into a situation where he couldn't back out of the fight? Who advised him to put no, you don't got no in, like, what, like, that's the part I don't understand. But as Jim Lampley said, you can see he was very, 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 very harsh. And, and, and those things that he said are true, but yet, if a person like me says those things, then you're you're looked at as being a hater or whatever the case may be. But Floyd Mayweather won. If Manny Pacquiao was injured, the fight should have been off. They shouldn't have that. You know, that's in in a way they shouldn't have did that to the fans. 
by making those tickets so expensive to the point where only rich people could go because those wasn't boxing fans that was watching that fight. Those were corporate bankers and all that. And now, you know, honestly, I just can't wait to see what the um, pay-per-view buys are going to look like because, like I said, they got my $100. I did a video of myself buying the fight so therefore I'm sure that encouraged other people to buy the fight and I'm thinking that's a lot of money but we'll just have to wait and see you know like I said they should have canceled the fight I mean postponed it whatever the case may be put it this way there was so much shady shit going on with this fight with negotiations and everything and I said I was going to stay away from it but at the end of the day all I wanted was for us to get the fight and get a clean decisive clear-cut victory by one person whether it was Manny Pacquiao who I went for or Floyd Mayweather so in the end I did get my wish but at the same time Pacquiao was injured I think we can say that there are people that are saying that we ain't see no x-ray we ain't see no um, MRI why was he raising his hands at the weigh-in and a whole bunch of dumb shit it's like yo It's hard because I, I have to explain that and entertain that bullshit. It's like this. People say, well, if his shoulder was so messed up, then why was he raising his arms out the way? Because he was getting his shots, his xylocaine, his lidocaine. You know what? This situation is deep. Because if you don't know why Floyd Mayweather fights only, likely, allegedly only fights in Vegas, then you are completely out of the loop. Because then I'm going to have to talk about, well, uh, Pacquiao wanted that same shot for his shoulder, and he was denied. But yet Mayweather has been allegedly rumored to be using the same shots for his hands. But I'm sure he got his shots. So there's so much controversy, and it's a shame because if I had my voice right now, I would really talk about it in detail. But see, if I wanted to talk about it like this calmly, you wouldn't understand me. So I have to I have to um, project my voice, which adds more strain to my voice. So therefore, I can't talk for 10, 15, 20 minutes at this point in time. But what I want to do is we got to get to the bottom of this. And I, I'm just hoping, you know, like I'm, I'm drinking tea. I got, I got lozenges and, and I'm doing everything I can to make sure I get my voice back so we can talk about all of this in detail because there's a lot going on and there's so much like mis misinformation and there's so many people baiting different things like oh man he won and it's because it is oh but if you look at the blue corner and the red corner the judges scored the fight oh this is also all bullshit it's all bullshit you know, and I wish, like I said, I wish I had my voice so I could explain to you and point out, you know, like how much bullshit people try to spew, you know, with this fight. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.